The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. In considering from the previous step the importance of the knowledge of Bible doctrine over the quality of privileges, every believer have to make sure that he has been filled with the Spirit by using rebound in the privacy of his priesthood so that he has to learn the doctrine. When he has been learning the doctrine, the true repentance, the true change of mind will come to him through the proper renovation of his thinking so that he will erase the human viewpoint, eliminate the human viewpoint and take the divine viewpoint as number one priority. And if this divine viewpoint is not being taken as number one priority into their day-to-day -day life, then the life that is been living behind is a sheer rut of a lie. Many people will come to tell many XYZ things in the church but the Lord God, the Holy Spirit, uses only the truth, the truth which has been communicated through the ICE concept, which is isagogical, categorical, and exegetical explanation, and the truth also uses only one method of ages to be made known that is nothing but the dispensing technique of dispensations. Many are the people who will come to their various thoughts, various understanding, various methodologies to know the truth. But we are here to explain the truth in the reality of Bible doctrine, the reality of Ladgar, the Holy Spirit, which it uses to explain the real intrinsic value, the real worthiness of your life. And in comparison to that, the great word which has been used in the New Testament only once, the polytema, the polytema privileges, which definitely were with the trends pertaining to the Roman, Catholic, Ro Roman citizens. We, the citizens of heaven, being have to make a note that our life has been given. We belong to this great world. Not that we shall belong, but we do now belong to it, the heavenly common world. This is not some slight or accidental honor added to our life. It is the very frame and the truth of our life itself. We belong to it first and foremost, not by afterthought. Heaven comes first, not earth. We are first citizens of heaven, last citizens of heaven, and citizens of heaven all the while between. Earth comes only by the way, so that it can never have a deep and lasting rights over us like that same old sin nature. So, dear brethren, we need to note that we have a still higher and noble citizenship. And the way that he writes to Philippians, telling to the point, heaven is your home, the kingdom of heaven your commonwealth. The spirit of heaven, your true life. You are members of that great spiritual and eternal kingdom of which Christ is imperator and lord. And this citizenship confers on you both rights and duties, rights of access and appeal to the heavenly kingdom. Exemption not from base punishments alone, but also from base and degrading lusts. You are guarded from the malice and violence of the principalities and the powers of evil and of an evil world. You are fed and cherished by the bounty and grace of the king eternal, immortal, invisible. You owe him allegiance, therefore, and a constant heart service therefore take pride in him then and in the ties that bind you for to him fight your privileges and immunities play the man to be like man prove yourself good soldiers of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ assert and maintain your spiritual freedom subordinate your private interest to the public welfare labor to extend the borders of the divine kingdom and let this heavenly citizenship be more dearer and to you than the civic rights and exemptions that you want to be most and this is what dear brother and you and I have to make sure in our life the great wealth wherewith you have been called, the great ministry of being born again in spirit and in water, to find his freedom, prized at the blood of Son of Jesus Christ, and bestowed upon him, so that by the will and bounty of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we need to show forth the certificate of home. And this world will perish, and we need to know the reality of the truth based upon Bible doctrine. Therefore, dear brethren, ponder over these things as we are going to continue in the next step. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that thou hast given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord, for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.